Pisces man, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. This is the uh, Men of Water series for April 2021. This uh, particular uh, video is for the sign of Pisces, the Pisces man. Thank you for uh, returning to the channel. For those of you who come back continually, I appreciate you. For those who are new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post every week for all your placements, so you do want to... Uh, Make sure you hit the notification bell. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces man. Uh, take what resonates, leave what re leave what doesn't. Excuse me. If you need a personal read, my information is in the box below. This particular uh, column talks about your personal and spiritual uh, progress. This column talks about your career, money, and finance. This column here talks about your family, love, and social life. The first row here talks about the current situation the middle row is the obstacle the last row at the bottom here is um, some type of solution or an approach to resolving the issue all right so here we go Pisces man so in reference to your spiritual personal growth we got a motorcycle here a bike we have the servant energy in reverse and the thief energy in reverse so I feel like some of you um, are in the energy where you want to sneak off. You may want to run away. You may want to disappear. You know, just get away from everybody, get away from everything. The challenge here is that, you know, you don't want to go that far or when it comes time for you to get ready to, you know, put the work in to disappear or to go somewhere, you know, you may decide you don't want to do it. So with the King of uh, Cups here and the Queen of I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands. Hmm. It's like you really want to do it, but... I feel like you're really excited about it, but you're holding back your, your feelings. You're not letting people know what's going on. You're keeping cool, calm, and collective about you wanting to leave. Yeah, you're keeping it to yourself. And um, I guess the advice here would be to uh, surrender to the idea of it. This is your energy, the 12th house. So, of course, this is talking about the subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness, uh, baggage, trance states, the unseen, healing, spiritual development, guilt, prayer, Akashic records. And we got that clarified with the Empress in reverse. That's uh, Venusian energy. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. So, you know, this is like opening up your mind to things. Tapping into your intuition. You know, finding out what might be blocking you. You know, so that you can let that go. What's keeping you from being successful. There's some type of blockage there that's preventing growth. That's why the Empress is in reverse. Usually when she's upright, there's birth of ideas, there's growth. Um, but here, it seems like there's a stagnancy here, there's a block here. And it's because there's something that you're you're not doing, and it's interfering. And once you do it, then you'll be able to feel comfortable. But I feel like you can't let people know what's going on, but you're in the plans of working it out. That's cool. So good luck to you on that. Let's talk about your career, money, and finance. So we have the Statue of Liberty. All right, so that's Jersey, you know, New York City area. We have Constancy card in reverse and Falseness in reverse. So somebody, um, you know, they were fake at one point, consistently fake to you. Uh, or maybe it was something that you just didn't like about it. Um, maybe you changed your mind about it as far as your career is concerned or where you want to go um, to make money. So maybe you're considering... New Jersey or New York area. Maybe you didn't before because you didn't like it. Maybe you thought, you know, maybe it was full of sh it was bullshit. Or you didn't want to deal with the bullshit that was involved in, in New York. But um, for some of you, I feel like that's what you want to do. Or maybe you just want freedom. This could just represent wanting freedom as well in the workplace. Maybe you just want to work for somebody. I mean, you want to work for yourself. You know, because you're tired of being fake. You try to have to, you know, follow their rules and do what they want you to do. The uh, obstacle here is that peace in reverse here. 
So you're not at peace, you know, working for people. Like you, you know, your natal chart, you could have placements where it's not happy for you. You're not happy. You won't work for people for too long. Like the longest you'll work at a place would be maybe two years. And then you would get bored or you would get fired or, you know, either they would give you problems or there was no growth. There will always be something there that would just, you know, deter you and you would just want to quit. And you've always been somebody who should have been an entrepreneur is all that is. So you won't be at peace until you're able to make your own money for yourself. Right. Other than that, you're just wasting your time with the seven of pentacles in reverse. And so there's some complexity to that, is what the universe is saying here. Because that's what a quincunx is, a complexity. So we had that clarified with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. So this is all about you um, communicating this, maybe expressing this. Or maybe, you know, like I said, you have to keep it to yourself because you're not sure what you're going to do yet or which direction you're going to take. So these two could be related you wanting to take action, but at the same time, you're just trying to be careful and just play everything by ear and keep it to yourself. But I feel like you want to move. You want to relocate. All right. But what I got for you, for your uh, personal life, your love life, and your social life, we got water here, a glass of water. I don't know. I think about thirstiness. I think about, um, you know, being satiated, quenching your thirst. But then we have hope in reverse and we have haughtiness. So I feel like this is somebody who thinks that, you know, they're hoping that somebody will, won't want to be without them. Is what I'm feeling here. Because, you know, you can't live without water. You know, and the haughtiness is like, I know you, I know, you know, this is like the ego. Like, I know I'm good. I know, you know what I mean? But there's somebody here who has no hope. So I don't know if this is somebody who lacks confidence or somebody who has too much confidence. They think that, you know, <laughs> I don't know. But the challenge here is that there's an exchange of energy here. But the thing is, is that with this energy here, it's a cycle. And somebody's tired of it. Somebody wants to bring it into it. Somebody's walking away. They've learned their lesson here. Somebody, yeah, some one person could be like, yeah, um, I know you're coming back. And another person could be like, no, not really. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. So there's definitely a challenge here is the outcome. Yeah, we have the nine of pentacles and the magician. Yeah, somebody wants to be single. So somebody never thought that their person would leave them. Is what I'm getting here. And somebody feels like they would be happier single. And that's what they're trying to do. They want, they're want wanting to end things. They're done with the back and forth, the going back and forth. It's been an emotional roller coaster. But that's what I'm getting with that. So I wish you the best with that. We have some divine timing cards. These cards are um, labeled with specific time frames that might resonate with these readings if they resonate with you. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. So we have September. So maybe last September uh, we might have something to do with any of these um, categories if they resonate with you. Or maybe this coming September. We have within the next 30 days. Okay. We got 2020, so sometime last year. Could have been September last year. And then we got right now. So for some of you, this could be going on, some of these situations, or one of them could be going on right now. All right, so for the cash cards, these are cards that um, talk about, you know, expenses that we have. So let's see what expensive expenses could be coming up for you for the month of April, or at least for the first two weeks. Or maybe you'll get some money. Let's see. Some of you have membership dues uh, that you have to pay. So gym membership, you know, whatever organizations you're involved with based on your trade or what you do for work. Like if you're a lawyer, you have your, you know, if there's licenses that you have to pay or um, membership dues that you have to keep up with. If you're, you know, um, in some type of organization, maybe you're a Mason or something like that. But um, you got dues to pay. You know, you could be a chiropractor in the United Chiropractors. They got to pay their membership dues. 
Um, so we have acupuncture, we have massage or chiropractor. So somebody's going to get their, um, you know, their back taken care of. All right. So somebody maybe needs to relax. All right. Or maybe they're, they're tense, but, um, somebody's going to be spending some money on that. Yeah. And then we got financial advisor or broker. So somebody may be, um, taking a look at their investments. If they don't have any, they could be looking at investing into something. But if, if not, they could be looking at moving their investments around or purchasing new stock or um, collecting, checking on their dividends to see what's going on with that. But um, that might cost you some money or you might get some money depending on if you're, you know, contacting them to get your dividends. So that just depends on your situation. So, yeah, Pisces, that's what I got for you for the first half of November. So if that resonated or any of it did, let me know. Click the like button. Don't forget to do that. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next reading. Peace out.